Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and I've got a tip for you today in Lightroom about collections and setting a collection as a target. This just makes adding photos to your collections a little easier. Let me show you what I mean here. So I'm going through all the photos I had for 2019 that I've processed and rated in a certain way. I want to make a collection for that. Now, first off is the concept of a target collection. What this means is you can associate a collection with the keyboard shortcut B, B as in boy, to have a photo immediately added. Now, by default, that's the quick collection up in the upper left corner in the catalog area. So if I press the B key, you'll notice that this little circle went on saying, hey, I just added this to my quick collection. And sure enough, I've got one photo in the quick collection now. I press B again, it goes away. So by default, the target for this B key is my quick collection. Now, if I'm trying to create a collection for a particular set of photos, but something that doesn't really fit into a uh, rules based where I've got to go and add things, it can get kind of cumbersome to drag photos and thumbnails all over the place. So just for the sake of argument here, let's say I want to create a new collection and um, I'll just call this, um, you know, like uh, my, my 2019 collection. Right. And for the moment, I'll include my selected photos. That's great. And so it jumps over and I've got this new collection. I've got one photo in it. I want to set this as my target collection. So now I can go back to my view of all my other photos from 2019 and I can just start hitting the B key and adding them in. So if I right click on the collection, I have this choice set as target collection. So I'll do that and notice the little tiny plus that is now to the right hand side of 2019 collection. It has disappeared from quick collection. It's now here telling me this is my target. So if I go back to that view of photos I had, and now as I start finding other photos I want to add, I press the B key. Notice it says added to target 2019 collection. We see the count down there at the bottom done and I can just start scrolling through and as I see the photos that I want to add, I can hit the B key. I can work on this you know, in the, in the, the large view as well. I just move to the right, see photos that I like, hit the B key and it's added to that collection and I can quickly go through you know, a full set of photos without having to click and drag and click and drag when I'm all done. I've got everything into my target collection. Now, last thing is don't forget to either reset the target collection back to the quick collection or in the future, you know, changing things up or your next collection is set as your target. Otherwise, you hit that B key and it's going to send everything back into uh, your current target. So at the very end of any type of operation I'm doing like this, I'll go back to my quick collection right click on it and set that as the target collection again. So I'm kind of back to where I started from. So that's what target collections are all about. They're really good for streamlining, creating collections, especially when you don't have just like one contiguous set of photos to add to a collection and you can't really categorize them into something like a smart collection would work with, with a set of rules. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions about photography? Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.